Hello and welcome to Extra Time with me, Gary James, with my guest and co-presenter, Paul Burrell. Paul, welcome. Happy St um, George's Day. Okay. <laughs> oh, it is St George's Day, absolutely right. Um, director of Warsaw Football Club, of course, Roy Wally, and the uh, chairman, uh, amongst many other things, uh, Mick Joyner from Chase Town. Thank Football you. Club. Gentlemen, thank you. Welcome for coming in. Uh, we brought you in today for an auspicious occasion that we'll talk about in just a sec. But first of all, uh, Mick, if we come to you, um, Chase Stone Football Club, tell us a little bit about how, how it started and how you got involved. Um, oh, the, the club had probably started about probably 12 years or more when, when I actually got involved with yeah. it. But it was, it was from the school that I was at. And it, the original name was such an enormous name that uh, when we t attempted to join the West Midland League in those days, in 1972, the old uh, secretary of the league, uh, Gordon Davis, said that you know, we needed a name that people could, rather than it take all the announcers' time reading the name of the team out, which at that, in that day were, was called Chase Terry's Old Scholars Football Club. Right. So it was an enormous name for a club. So in, 19, uh, in 1973, 72, we changed to Chase Town, and that's, it's been that ever since. And were you a footballer yourself? Or, uh, I know you're obviously a yeah, businessman, but were you a yeah, footballer? Not, not, not a brilliant footballer, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, Played football, of course, I did for the school team and things mm. like that, but uh, not to the level that Chase Town are now playing now. Yeah. Well, you got you completely involved in it and, and brought it yeah. up to where it is today, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I joined. Um, the, the club was formed in '54, but I, I actually joined in '66. So mm. my maths tell me that it's roughly about 50 years next year that, uh, that I've been involved. So yeah, yeah. it. And obviously, Roy, you'd, you'd be well known in the area, long, long-term serving. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, person for Warsaw, really. Well, that's <laughs> right. I mean, it's frightening, really, but um, I attended my first Warsaw game, you know, at the end of the 1954-55 season. So next season will be my 61st <laughs> season. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, jo I, I mean, I became, uh, I became secretary of Warsaw in 1986. Yeah. And I worked uh, full-time for the club for 27 years. Um, as uh, club secretary, company secretary, uh, chief executive, commercial director, you know, and, ge and general other, other general duties. Um, so I had a really good stint uh, at, at the club and of course it was an exciting time because, you know, it was the time that we moved to the new stadium at Bescott and uh, I think, I always say in the 27 years we had uh, five promotions and five relegations so after 27 years, we're in exactly the same position as when I joined. <laughs> now, someone might say that's an achievement. You know, hey, we've yeah. survived. We're, it's certainly a far better club than it was back in 1986. It's mm. great facilities. And, you know, we've had some great times, both in league and, uh, and cup. And, mm. it, you know, the club uh, has a good future to look forward to. And, of course, a few weeks ago, you know, must be one of the high, if not the highlight, I well, suppose. Absolutely. I mean, you know, the club was founded in 1888 and... Um, not all those years, because Wembley wasn't built until 1923. But we never played at Wembley. Uh, there was us and Accrington and uh, Hartlepool and Crawley, the league, only football league clubs, never to have played at Wembley. Well, there's three now. We've played there. Um, it was a it was a wonderful uh, wonderful cup run. Great night at the stadium when we beat uh, Preston. I mean, the the atmosphere was absolutely riveting. And it was an exciting lead up. I never felt, I never thought we would take 29,000 people yeah. there. I mean, we took 18,000 to the millennium uh, in 2001 and 29,000 to Wembley, which shows them, mm. it shows two things the pull of Wembley Stadium and maybe the potential in this area for a successful football yeah. team. Um, the day itself was very memorable. I, I have to say, and most people would agree, the match was probably disappointing. But we were playing a very, very good Bristol City yeah. team. And uh, we've been there now. We've left our visiting card. I'm sure the next time we go down there, the team will be much more confident about playing there and we'll do ourselves justice. Mm. And having waited 127 <laughs> years for the first time, <laughs> we won't have to wait so long for the second. Absolutely right. And, and back to Chase Stone, uh, Vic. Um, I mean, it's, quite a, it's a successful club in its own right, isn't it, Chase Stone? Well, yes. I mean, I mean um, to think that uh, when we... Uh, when we went on the new ground that we now got, because we used to play on the sports field um, back in '83, one would never have wondered or, or, or could never imagine that um, 
that match of the day would actually take place on that pitch. Mm. You know, that unbelievable. That those are sort of memories that non-league clubs just dream about, and and to have a dream come true. It's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, mm. it's unreal, really. And, and of course, I mean, you two guys have known each other for for a number of years. Yeah. And have, uh, are the best of friends. <laughs> There's a very good relationship between the two clubs. Yeah. I mean, uh, I know, I know when. Um, uh, when Chase Town had the, that wonderful FA Cup run, I think we were quite help, helpful oh, yeah, you know, in, in the staging yeah. of the game and so on. And that, that you printed the tickets for us, actually. Well, we, yeah. Printed the t match so, tickets so and stewarded the game for us. Yeah. 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 And of course, now Walsall, the Walsall's reserve team uh, play ma the match at home matches at, um, at, at Chase Town. Yeah. Uh, in fact, we were there yesterday and we're there again next Tuesday. At just, just, fr just frighten us to death. Just tell us what the score was yesterday. <laughs> and yesterday. <laughs> Uh, it was Warsaw 8, Wrexham 0, so we had a real, yeah. we had a real um, fe goal feast yesterday. Mike always looks after us. There's always a lovely cup of coffee and, a, and some chalky biscuits at half-time. They're a very, very friendly and accommodating club. And, we do, and occasionally Mike will come and, and, um, and, and, and to our home games and sometimes directors will come, go and see Chase Town. It's an excellent relationship and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good that two local clubs work so well together. But will that relationship be tested on Monday in the final? Well, I'm sure we won't kick you off the field. <laughs> <but let's say laughs> we'll try and out-football you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a sec. Aside <laughs> <laughs> on that. And, and just on that, because, I mean, are, are there any players gone from, from Chase Town into the professional game and in, in, played for Warsaw or any other Midlands clubs? Are they... We've had one or two come the, the other, other way. way. The other way, yes. The other way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, I mean if we have uh, youngsters, say, maybe second year um, in our apprenticeship scheme, second year apprentices or first year professionals, and we want to give them some regular match play, then Chase Town's a great club mm. occasionally to send these players to. Mm. Uh, they gain good, the player gains good experience, we can keep an eye on them, and we know they'll be looked after at Chase Town and they'll, they'll be playing a, a good standard of football. Yeah. And they come back better players and better people. Mm. And Paul, obviously, you, you, you know, the stadium announcer down there at, at, at Chase Town. Well, that, that, that game that Mick was talking yeah. about, the match of the day one against Oldham, that was my first game. And I thought, well, 2,000 every week, this is going to be great fun. And then the next time, I think it was about 212 there. But these two gentlemen, they are bastions of Midlands football. And yeah. I'm not just saying that because they're sitting here. The experience they've put in, they are a credit to their clubs and a credit to, to, to the Midlands. And uh, it, it's just great. I mean, I've been involved with, with Roy on a commercial situation at Warsaw Football Club, hosting parties and uh, sports evenings with Roy, and it, it's fantastic. They got a brilliant boxing scene down there, amateur boxing, yeah. and uh, like I say, and like Roy said, the facilities now at the, the best are uh, second to none at that level. Yeah, it is great. And hopefully, as we go into next season, we're, we're um, a bit of an exclusive. Hopefully, we'll be, be showing some of the. The, the reserve team games from Warsaw when they play at, at Chase Town. Well, that's good that's news. Well, you know. because And they're very good. There's some excellent games. There mm. really yeah. are. Which is why we want to get involved and, that, and, and start right. you know, working with you guys and showing it and, and, and talking about it on extra time, but actually showing the, showing the game. So we're talking about that at the moment to try and sort it out for, for, next, se for next season. Um, but you've, you've got, um, just back to Warsaw for a second, you've got an event coming up, you were saying, in a couple of weeks' time yeah, in no, May? Next, yeah, we, we do regular sporting dinners. And our next one is on Thursday the 14th of May. And the theme is a tribute to Brian Clough because he would have been 80 this year. Would he really? So yeah. he, we've got two of um, his, former, uh, his former players. We've got um, Duncan McKenzie, yeah. and, uh, who played for him at Forest and Leeds, and Mark Crossley, who was his goalkeeper. And he was the only guy who ever saved a, a Matt Letizia penalty. Oh, <laughs> Just That's a bit of added interest. Yeah. <laughs> and a great comedian, Paul Boardman. Um, there's always a, a lovely four-course meal. Uh, tickets are now on sale at uh, £35 each, and it's a great, it's a great night. Yeah. So anyone who wants to come along to that event, Thursday the 14th of May, just ring up the ticket office at Walsall Football Club and order your places, and That's you really night. will have a great night. And, and you know, it's a regular programme of, of sporting dinners, and we also work with Plek Amateur Boxing Club locally to put on uh, three uh, amateur boxing dinner shows a year. Yeah. So if you know, it's, really it's what a salesman. It, it's no, it's great for the, it's great for Plek because obviously it means that, uh, you know, they can give their, they can give their uh, youngsters um, competitive experience in a, in a lovely environment, and of, and of course it's, you know, it's also financially uh, yeah. advan advantageous for them. We have some, and we have some great nights, and we've been doing both sporting dinners and boxing dinner shows for the past twenty plus years. 
Yeah. And, and it's yeah, always, it it's great, right. for the, great for the area, great for the region. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, very quickly coming up in—is it June or July? Elton John, of course, is Elton the... John is in June. In June, yeah, in, yeah. that's right. And uh, tickets are on sale for that, uh, and hospitality tickets too. Mm. If you want to make, you know, have a meal and watch mm. the concert, or just come along to the concert. But mm. tickets are now on sale for for that, for, for that event. And, and I think uh, Mike's doing a concert later on in the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sing along. <laughs> Sing along with Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you are, there's a concert, there's a show for you. That's brilliant. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a break in a second. We'll come back and we'll talk um, the Warsaw Seniors Cup yeah, that's yeah. coming up because that, that's going to be absolutely massive next week. Um, but for now, if you'd like to get in touch with the show, then please email. It's extra time at bigcentre.tv. Extra time at bigcentre.tv. But we're going to take a break. We're going to get a cup of tea. It's half time on extra time. Hello and welcome back to Extra Time. I'm Gary James and again uh, joined by part of the Extra Time team, Paul Burrell and um, Roy Wally from Warsaw Football Club and Mick Joyner from, uh, from Chase Town Football Club. So guys, um, the, one of the reasons, apart from talking about the clubs and a bit of history, we brought you in, the Warsaw Seniors Cup. <laughs> and you two guys, your teams are playing each other next Monday night, 7.30 mm -hmm. at the... Uh, at the Banksies. Well, Chase Town are holders of that cup. They, they? they won it oh, last okay. year yeah. against mm. Russia All Olympic in the final. So that, that was a, a needle match. I think this one may be more friendly, but uh, I'll hand you over to Mick Joyner on his thoughts on it. No, it, it's, um, it's, it's nice to it's nice of Warsaw to, to accommodate a competition that non-league players play in. And, and I am also chairman of the Midland League, which they accommodate two finals for us on that as well. Mm. And uh, we're indebted to Warsaw Football Club for that. That doesn't mean to say we're going to let them win on Monday, <laughs> but that, we're indebted for the, the, what they, they do for local football. And they really do do a lot for, fo for football. Mm. Um, and and we, yes, he, he's, you're correct, we, we are the holders of it. We've actually won it three times at the Beskut. Um, we did play at Fellas Park in two other cup yeah. competitions. Previously, I'm going back into my earlier years of life, um, and and we lost both of those finals. But we're on defeat. We're not. We, we haven't lost actually on at, at best. No, well, we I can't lost. say that. Warsaw have lost a case. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. We won a few as well, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah. How, how, how did the seniors? How did the seniors cup come about? It, yeah. Well, well, Roy's well, older. Roy's older than me. Uh, <laughs> He'll tell you about it. It's, it. I mean, he goes back. He goes back. I think to the year 1878, and it wasn't the Senior Cup then. It was the Licensed Victualers Club. There was a guy in Walsall, very interesting. He promoted Walsall, a guy called John Abnett, and he he kept the Windmill Tavern in uh, in Bath Street in Walsall, and uh, it was the Licensed Victualers who who, who 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 sponsored the competition, and that went on into the uh, the 1880s. Um, the, the original cup um, was given to Warsaw Swifts because they won it three years in succession, so they could, uh, so they gave them the cup to keep. Um, and in fact, what happened to that cup? Nobody seems to know because at their their celebration that year, um, the cup uh, was handed to their patron, um, who was uh, an alderman Evans mm. in the town, uh, and he was giving it to him. And what and nobody knows what's happened. But what we do know is there was a new cup. Uh, for, uh, manufactured um, in, I think it was 1882, and we also know that it was made with 200 ounces mm. of uh, solid silver, mm. oh. and that's the cup that's still used. It's, uh, I think it's oh, about it's, three foot high. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, mm. and so in the early days, you know, it, it, the town, the Warsaw Town, Warsaw Swifts were competing, and when mm. they amalgamated, I mean, the, the, the club still competed. But it's amazing, clubs like Nottingham Forest and Derby County and the Wolves and the Albion, mm. they all enter teams in the um, in, mm. in, in, in the Warsaw Senior Cup. So it's got it's got quite a history. Because mm. it, it, it sounds like oh, Warsaw are playing Chase Town, but is it the first team or is it the reserves or the youths? Or how, well, does it, how does it work? Well, it would well, definitely be our first team. Yeah, I mean, it's a question. It's I a think question. Paul you, might be you should probably ask it, Dean Smith, but I, I would imagine. I mean, we, the, the last two games we've been to have been at. Um, we beat um, Stafford Town and then Brockton, and the, and and it was it was composed of professional players and uh, members of the um, uh, and the apprentices. Um, well, I I think it will be I think it will be very much a reserve team game. Um, 
I, I would, I would, you know, we, we want to win this competition, get some silverware. We, we got our first bit of silverware on last Monday when we mm. won the Midland Youth Cup. We beat oh, wow. Shrewsbury 2-1. Good. So it'd be nice to get the, uh, the, the, the Walsall Senior Cup, especially when we know there's so much silver involved in it. <laughs> isn't, it isn't it great incentive, though, Roy, for non-league clubs, whether it's in Birmingham, Staffordshire, Warsaw, to have that carrot at the end of the season to play on a football league ground. Brilliant, yeah, mm. because, I mean, for some of those players, it's, it, was, it may be their, the only chance in mm. their career to play on a, on a football league ground. So it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a tremendous opportunity for them. And I would think that we'll have a decent crowd there next Monday night, um, if it's a nice night. Um, you know, two local teams. Um, I mean, we, we'll be putting, I'm sure we'll be putting out a team. If it's the same as a chase down yes, uh, this week, there, there were set players there, with set, there were seven of the players with first team experience. Yeah. So, you know, it gives our supporters the chance to come along and look at some of our, our young professional players uh, and the up and coming players. Mm. And of course, you know, there's local rivalry. We may be good friends, but we both want to win that game. Yeah. So it should be a really good match. Yeah, the local derby, which is which absolutely is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And the two yeah. clubs have already put in the um, the diary for the 29th of July pre-season friendly. That, that's how close the clubs are. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Russell always accommodate us with a friendly at the start of the season. Yeah, yeah which which is good. It's good, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it's it's right. Right. And, and how, how does Chase Town go on? Just talking to the money, money sort of side of things. But with 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 sponsorship, said Mick, is it? Uh, well, like every non-league club, well, any any club, Royal tell you, you're always looking for for more income streams. Mm. T totally. I mean, over 49 years, and Roy's nearly 61 years. The, the change of different types <laughs> of ways. Let you forget that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just thought I'd remember him <laughs> or remember him. Yeah. Um, the, the, you're constantly having to change. The, the method of income streams because it's the same as communication like communication 10 years ago is different than now isn't it you know yep. it's, we, so the whole thing just evolves and you have to keep one step ahead all the while and we have to say Mick a big thank you to Steve Jones from Crown, oh, yeah. Crown well, Cutting for the last five years I think he's behind me somewhere but he is, yeah, yeah, indeed it is Crown yeah. Cutting yeah. service yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah, you do rely on local businesses mm, all, yeah. cl all clubs do yeah. well, so I've also home served local business well, yeah. It was, yeah absolutely I mean you know we, we've had some great support over the years from local companies I mean it's you know I mean we've been with Banksy's now since 90, about I think it was 1992, mm. and they've done the shirts, and of course now the stadium. Mm. But uh, I mean, HomeServe is, you know, it's a three-year deal. HomeServe, I think, are the only company in Warsaw that are fully listed on the on the stock stock market, mm. and they're a major employer in the town. Mm. So there's a real link mm. between the two, and they're making a huge, you know, a, they, they really are play, working very very hard to develop the community side of the of the sponsorship. Mm. Um, so they're working well with our community program. It's more than just having the name on the shirt, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that their employees are coming along to matches and so on. So there's a really good ongoing relationship between mm -hmm. Warsaw and HomeServe. Mm -hmm. And we've got some great, you know, t tile choice. I've got a, you know, the, 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 the tile choice stand, which can be seen by all those millions of people yeah. who, who travel along the mm. motorway. You know, it's, it, it's mm. remarkable. You couldn't, you need, you need that commercial support. You mm. need you, you, the people coming through the, the, the gates, but you also need good commercial support from local businesses. And also, mm. Roy and Mick, what a lot of people don't realise, particularly at Chase Town's level, if you have a bad winter and don't get a home game for six or seven weeks, that's a real crippler for you financially, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's the same with any business cash flow, isn't it? Yeah. And that, yeah. yeah that, you, you have to budget for that if, if, in case it does occur, but it's, it's still not... And you're praying it's for like a home draw nice, every time the FA Cup or League Cup comes around, aren't you? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you know, everybody needs a, an afternoon at Old Trafford or an afternoon sure. at Old every yeah. year. Yeah. 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 I mean, in recent yeah. years, I mean, we, we're actually in the Cup competition, we've not done so well, but... This year, I mean, going to Wembley obviously makes it makes a big difference. But it's great for the town. I mean, what you know, it's great for the town if Ch if Chase Town get mm. to the th first round of the FA Cup, mm. and you know the publicity that they get, the area gets, mm. is tr is tremendous. And it's the same in Walsall. When Walsall got to Wembley, there was a feel good factor created Absolutely. that no other institution in the in the town could possibly do. So you know, we're a big employer in the town. You know, we're a main. We're a huge commercial organisation that brings business in from all over the country, seven days a week. So, you know, 
both both clubs do a lot for their local communities and they de and they fully deserve any support they get yeah. from the local authorities or from local businesses because we contribute towards the the, the, the wealth and the well-being mm. of our communities and the fans feel part of it from both sides don't they it's very much family clubs and i was i was down there just back to the wembley thing when they were selling the tickets yeah. and and it, and it was fantastic and certainly some of the players there you know behind the scenes making cups of tea yeah. making sure everybody's happy um, and they feel they feel part of it you know it's not like some of the premiership no. clubs that they no. yeah. you know well, yeah. they don't we, even care about we're the community, fans, to be we're community we're a community club and yeah. you know the players are not aloof from the supporters you know that's, that's, it's yeah. and hopefully neither are, are the management staff or the directors yeah. the people mm. can come talk to us right mm. how did you manage to get Elton John at a football club <laughs> well, it's like everything else. <laughs> Mick couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've, you know, when, when we moved to the stadium, I thought that was something that we'd do on a regular basis, you know, but he didn't well, work out. Well, phone Elton up. Not Elton, <laughs> no. but I, we, we had a great one in 1991 with the Wonder Stuff where there was 18,500 people there. Mm. Um, but it's, 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 the right, it's the right deal. You know, mm. you, you, we, over the years, we have tried to put more of these concerts on. It's not work. Now, mm. this year... Um, it's work. There's, a, there's an agency that wants to put him on mm. uh, in the Midlands, and we're a, we're a lovely, we're a great facility to do so, mm -hmm. in a good location, um, you know. And we, it, it, it's just worked. It's worked out right for the club. So it'd be right. great for Elton. He's never yeah. appeared in Warsaw before, <laughs> apart from when we played Watford. <laughs> which I would have won. Yeah. And that's great. Yeah. And on that, guys, it's one of those conversations that times times beats in us. Yeah. Um, but let's look forward to a great game on on Monday night. Tickets still available, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, Seven thirty, uh, Warsaw versus Chase Town in the uh, Warsaw Seniors Cup. If you can get down there, please do so. Um, that's about it from us for now. We'll be back with you tomorrow. Um, but now the final whistle has blown. It's full time on extra time. <laughs> <laughs>